हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सुपर कोचिंग यूपीएससी बे टेस्ट बुक दिस इज वेंकटेश योर फैकल्टी फॉर ज्योग्राफी एंड इन दिस सेशन वील डिस्कस अबाउट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रेट्स ऑफ आवर वर्ल्ड सी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेट्स एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस हैज आई थिंक यू वुड बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सो मच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स इन द न्यूज पेपर्स यू सी इट एवरी वन नोज अबाउट द पॉपुलर स्ट्रेट्स say like babel mandap strait say like malakka strait everyone knows the popular strait have you ever about a strait called lombok formosa let us discuss about the lesser known straits as well which are also having enough geopolitical significance right okay right yes sachin good afternoon friday kh whoever it is good afternoon and i will also wish you all of you a very very warm ram navmi celebration uh, ram uh, ram navmi i wish you a good celebration of ram navmi and you all of us i wish you learn about something about the essence of ram navmi that is nothing but from a administrator which you are aspiring for understand the concept of ram rajyam understand the concept of good governance in fact this is what i would be saying to you yes sachin you are saying formosa suna hai okay lombok nahi suna hai theek hai discuss karenge yes datri good afternoon how are you doing paris pranjal good afternoon good afternoon evening to samay hai right so whatever one important thing on this ram rajya day i would i mean on this auspicious day of ram navmi as an administrator i want you to remember about the significance of good governance right so shall we start the session taking into the considerations of this shall we start so let us understand the geopolitical importance so let us see this strait what do you mean by strait you can see here what is this you can see it is a narrow water body it's a narrow water body connecting two bigger water bodies that is what is called it as a strait so what is a strait narrow water body connecting two bigger water bodies that is what we call it as a strait then indirectly there is also one more thing you can learn it is also very close isthmus can anyone tell me what is isthmus yes paras paras pranjal datri sri lakshmi sachin can you tell me what is isthmus come on very quickly what is the isthmus come on quickly yes okay no haven't heard about isthmus isthmus is a same thing whatever you have discussed instead of water here you would say narrow land body separating two water masses say for example imagine there is a land like this now what is happening this is an ocean this is an ocean now this would be the isthmus say panama is an isthmus yes narrow parcel of land connecting to larger bodies yes very good it is very simple narrow land body connecting two bigger water bodies so across it you will be developing a canal for example panama canal the suez canal how it did you 
How do you think that we have constructed it? Across a narrow landmass, isthmus. So, isthmus becomes very, very important. So, you all know the significance of this. Before we discuss about the important straits and all, we all know what is the significance. What is the significance? Anyone? Tell me the significance. Paris, Sachin, Lakshmi. Come on, drop the significance in the comments. Importance of straits. They are crucial centers of trade, especially about oil. You can talk about multiple things, geopolitical, economic, military significance, strategic, military strategic, right? Yes, come on. What are the comments you are saying? Trade, economic aspects. Now, all this importance, instead of putting all these points at one place, I will be taking the examples of different traits and I will try to give the examples of those importance. Let us see whether we are able to understand it or not. You see, you take this Hormuz trait. Now, why we are learning about these traits very, very closely? Why do you think that UPSC regularly asks such kind of questions? What is the reason? It is security, yes, but the reason is very simple. You know, the background of this Persian Gulf, you see here, United Arab, Arab Emirates, Dubai, Sharjah, Abu Dhabi, right, the country, uh, the Oman, Oman region, Iran, all this is, a this is a center of important oil. So, the crucial importance for here is the oil trade. And for a country like India, where 80 percentage of our oil we are importing, definitely anything happens here, it is very dangerous for us. The recent, if you see the last 3-4 days, in the weekend, you have seen that there is a war between Iran and Israel. There were some kind of challenges with Iran versus Israel. Automatically, global crude oil prices have increased. Why? We are worried about the supply of the concerns of the availability of oil in this part of the world which is actually having an impact on economies like India. So, they are the centers of oil. These are the important shipping lanes. The trade would be halted. The connectivity would be halted. You all know this importance of trade and connectivity. Remember the advent of Europeans studied from history. Advent of Europeans, 1453 Constantinople. What happened? They have started charging more amount of money. Because they are charging more amount of money for the all the trade happening between Asia and Europe via land, now they are forced to have an alternate sea route to India, alternate route to India via the sea. That led to advent of Europeans, the age of discoveries, right? So similarly, Egypt, Egypt, they have the Suez Canal, the Suez Isthmus. That is very important because that will be controlling the economic aspects. Every ship which passes through the Suez Canal has to pay certain amount of money as part of maintenance to Egypt. They are in, in other words, they are controlling the trade. So, this Strait of Hormuz becomes very important. Where does it connect? It connects the Persian Gulf with respect to the Gulf of Oman or you can say the Arabian Sea. Gulf of Persia with Gulf of Oman, Arabian Sea. So, that is the Strait of Hormuz. So, where you can see Iran, you can see uh, United Arab Emirates and all these countries. This is the Hormuz Strait. Yes, Sachin. Yes, 1453, 60 time benefits, Vasco da Gama, all good. Yes, that's what we are discussing. Then you see, just down south of this, as you go south of this Strait of Hormuz, you are now entering into the region which was in news like anything in the last few months, right? The Red Sea crisis connecting, uh, you have a strait here called Bab el Mandab Strait. You can see here, Bab el Mandab Strait. It is an important sea connecting the Red Sea with respect to the Gulf of Aden. I think you can all see here Djibouti. Djibouti. I was talking about the military presence, no? The military presence. Djibouti has military presence of countries like USA, countries like China, 
if I am not wrong, even Italy and one more country. So, four or five countries, right? Babel Mandab, you almost have four or five countries which are having their military bases. Djibouti as a country gets more amount of money from USA. Why? They have provided the opportunity of land control, a military base exactly at the very, very narrow choke point where the entire trade connecting Asia with Europe happens here. Connecting Asia with Europe. So, any trade, whether it is living from India or from China, if you wanted to go by trade with Europe, it has to go across the Gulf of Aden. Uh, Gulf of Aden and then into the Babel Mandab Strait into the Red Sea. And you all know, for all the wrong reasons, it is there in the recent news. You talk about the, you talk about what? What are the wrong reasons? You can talk about the piracy. You can talk about the concerns of terrorism. You can talk about the economic crises. You can talk about human trafficking, piracy, concerns. All these things are located here. So that's the reason why the shipping cost is increasing. The amount of insurance cost, which the shipping cost that is increasing, ultimately you and I are bearing more money where whenever any product we are importing, we are or we are we are importing, we are actually paying more price to it. So ultimately it is affecting our economy. Yes. What is that? The insurance cost. You can if you have an alternate sea route to Babel Mandap Strait in the present era, you will be saving time, you will be saving the cost, you will be saving even the fuel, you will also be saving the cost through the shipping lanes, through the insurance cost. So that is the thing. Okay. So Babel Mandap Strait, very, very popular. Connecting what? Red Sea with the Gulf of Aden or Arabian Sea. Please remember, Gulf of Aden, Babel Mandap Strait. Remember, Babel Mandap B A. Both are B A, very near. Then you go for this Oman, Gulf of Oman, Hormuz. These are different. Okay. So what, what happens is in the exam, they'll be asking. Uh, Gulf of uh, Red Sea, uh, the Babel Mandap Strait connects. Everyone will remember Red Sea, but they'll be confusing Gulf of Aden or Gulf of uh, Gulf of Oman. They'll be having a confusion. Remember, remember from this Babel Mandap, alphabet B, alphabet A, very easy, right? Then as you move forward, these are very very popular. Every one of you will remember that. Then some more important things as you can talk about the Red Sea. The region uh, just above the Red Sea, you can see here from the Red Sea as you enter into the European thing. The Black Sea was in use in the last few years because of the Ukrainian crisis, right? This is Ukraine, this is Crimea, this is Ukraine. So any trade and Russia here, Crimea is also part of the Russia. Any trade happens here, it is happening from the Black Sea through Bosphorus Strait, Bosphorus Strait through a local sea called the Sea of Maramara and Sea of Maramara is connecting with the Aegean Sea or the Mediterranean Sea via another strait called Dardanelles Strait. So I want you to remember all these things. What is that? Black Sea, North, then you have Bosphorus, then you have Maramara, then you have Dardanelles Strait, then you have the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Bosphorus Strait, Dardanelles Strait. These are very, very important. Yes, European Middle East Corridor alternate to be Ban Rahabs. Yes, yes. Sachin, the alternate to Babel Mandap Strait is one. The India Middle East European corridor that is one. There is also another alternate which is already started. What is that alternate? That's what we'll discuss now. That alternate is this one. The Bering Strait across the northern sea route across Russia. So all the way from the Bering Sea, from the Russian region of you know the Murmansk and all in the north around the Arctic Ocean. There is so much amount of trade happening between Russia and India. I think you all have seen 
uh, the Russian oil trade happening increasing with our country, we are exporting via the northern sea route, we are importing rather, importing via the northern sea route and via the Bering Sea, via the uh, Bering's, uh, what do you say, what do you call this, the Bering Strait, yes, the Bering Strait. So, Bering Strait connecting the Bering Sea and with the Chukchi Sea. So, Chukchi Sea is in the north and the Bering Sea, you can see this is nothing but a minor island, minor ocean of Pacific Ocean. So, this is the alternate route which is already happening. Last 2 to 3 years, especially in winter, in summer, it is absent in winter because the entire ice is, the entire ocean is completely under ice in winter. In summer, it melts, opportunity for the sea route. In fact, wherever you do not find any kind of, you know, uh, there is some kind of ice, we also have the technology of ice breakers, right, ice breakers, yes, this is one and there is also third one, three alternative routes to Babel Mandap Strait, one is the developing Middle East economic corridor, two, already developed uh, the uh, Bering straight line, this is the northern sea route, we will call this as what? Northern sea route, NSR via the Arctic Ocean, it goes via the Bering Sea. So, Bering Strait connects what? It connects Alaska with Russia, you can also say Alaska with Russia, very very few kilometers, just a few kilometers here and there and it is also connecting Chukchi with the Bering, right. Then there is a third one which is also the alternative to Red Sea, what is that? Sachin, can you mention that? The third alternate, third alternate, Paras Pranjal, can we mention the third alternate? The third alternate is India International North South Transport Corridor. So, with these concerns, we have three alternates, three alternative routes, one is India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, other is International North South Transport Corridor, the other one is Northern Sea Route via the Middle East, via the sorry the Chukchi Sea, right, right, that is not Chennai, Chennai Senai. Chennai one which we are talking about, it is part of the northern sea route only. Say, so, example, Chennai Vladivostok Economic Corridor. Vladivostok is a region in Japan Sea of Russia. So, Russia on the eastern side, there is a city called place called Vladivostok. So, Chennai Vladivostok Economic Corridor, this is part of the northern sea route only. Right? So, that is the thing. So, that is what the connecting points. These are very, very important. Then another important point, you can see it here, this is the Gibraltar Strait, Gibraltar Strait, connecting the Mediterranean Ocean with the Mediterranean Ocean with the Red Sea, oh, sorry, Mediterranean Ocean with the Pacific, with the Atlantic Ocean. Gibraltar is also very, very important, right, then, yes. Yes, Paris, right, you are correct. Then as you move forward, let us discuss some of the lesser important one, as I was saying, you all might have heard about this one, the Strait of Malacca, right, you all see the amount of depth, what is the depth of the ocean here, how it is able to connect the South China Sea with the Indian Ocean and all, we have the Strait of Malacca, which is connecting say Andaman Sea with the South China Sea. So, it is the Malacca Strait along the Mala, Malay Peninsula, where the trade, see, please understand, the geopolitical has been shifted towards Asia Pacific now. Once upon a time, geopolitics was most about Europe, was most about, you know, in the Middle East. Now, the geopolitics have shifted to Asia Pacific. So, as it shifted to Asia Pacific, this becomes important. What is this? The Malacca Strait. Everyone knows about Malacca Strait. The next important one you need to know about this one is this one. So, instead of the Malacca Strait here, where the trade is happening all the way across this towards the South China Sea, 
and towards the big economies of Japan, you know, country like uh, Japan, Taiwan, China, Korea, South Korea, these are all Asian tigers, no? Right? China, Japan, Korea, and all. So, definitely the trade is happening through them. In fact, the entire trade happens through this route. This becomes very, very important. The alternate route, especially if it is coming from Africa, especially it is coming from, say, from Africa and Europe, you can also go by this route called Lombok Strait. This is the thing. Lombok Strait, it connects the regions of, you know, here connects the Indian Ocean with respect to the Java Sea. Indian Ocean with respect to the Java Sea. This is the Lombok Strait. This is also an important alternate sea route. Right. The Lombok Strait. There is also Sunda Strait. This is also one important. It all depends on which side are we going. So, for example, you are going to Japan. This Lombok Strait becomes very easy to go. Instead of going all across this, this is also one alternate, very, very important, Lombok Strait. By the way, this Lombok Strait is importance is also with another thing. What is that? It is very, very near to the Bali Island, very famous island of Indonesia, coral reefs, Bali Island, very famous. Also, it is known for a line called as, you know, Wallace Line. Can you tell me what is the importance of Wallace Line? It is a Wallace line which separates two biogeographical reams. Biogeographical reams. That means it is an important biodiverse center. The kind of biodiversity you find in the Lombok Strait of the ocean is very, very immense. That's right. Yes, Paris, you will get the PPT. You will get the PPT. Yes. Lombok Strait, Java plus Indian Ocean. Very good. Right. Then you can see it here. This is the Sunda Strait. The same one. I think you can see it here. Malacca Strait, Sunda Strait. And then you will find the, what do you say? The other one. Just now I told you the Lombok Strait. I think this picture is very clear. The Malacca Strait, the Sunda Strait connecting Java Sea with respect to Indian Ocean, Lombok Strait as well in the same thing. This is Bali Island. And Lombok Strait, it passes a Lombok Strait. It is also having the separate uniqueness of connecting what? The Wallace Line, which is an important biogeographical rim. What if the Club 2-3 concepts? This is one. And for Bering Strait also, I forgot to mention one more point. Bering Strait, you can see here, Bering Strait significance is international date line passes through this, right? International date line passes through the Bering Strait, that is the importance. Then as you move forward, let us go to the some more things. I think this I have already told you, Bosphorus Strait, Black Sea with the Sea of Maramara and then the uh, Dardanelles Strait with Sea of Maramara with the Aegean Sea or the Mediterranean Sea. This I have explained. Then let me go to some more lesser known ones. Then we will now come to the popular one. Yes, another important one I want you to remember is this one, Tyrant Strait. Tyrant Strait. This is also very, very important for this year especially, the Tyrant Strait. What is the importance? You all can see here, the Tyrant Strait between the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt with the Saudi Arabia, you can see here, this is the Egypt, this is the Red Sea, this is the Strait of Tiran and the Gulf of Aqaba. So, if you see the Gulf of Aqaba, this is the Sinai Peninsula. So, this is the Gulf of Aqaba. So, Gulf of Aqaba connecting with the Red Sea, with the Tyrant Sea, that is the thing. Red Sea. Gulf of Aqaba. Now, why it is in news? You can all see it. The recent Israel Hamas war, the Gaza Strait, the people who can migrate, they can migrate through this region. So, you see that the Sinai Peninsula is exactly ends with respect to the Israel. 
So along this, they can come to the Gulf of Aqaba. So that's where Tyran Strait becomes very important from the recent humanitarian crisis you have seen in the Israel-Hamas war. Right? Got it, all of you? I think you got this point. Now, what very Sinai Peninsula? It is between the Gulf of Aqaba and the Suez Canal. This is the Suez Canal. You can see it here. This is the Suez Canal. This is the Sinai Peninsula. This is the Gulf of Aqaba. Then you are entering into the regions of Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and all those kind of things. Got it, all of you? Yes, Sachin. Right. So this becomes very, very important. The Tyran Strait. That's what? The lesser known ones which you have studied today. Lombok Strait, very important. Tyran Strait, another important one. This is the objective today. Everyone might have already studied about Hormuz. May already studied about Lombok. These are the things. Then another lesser one. I'm just giving you a perspective. Formosa Strait or Taiwan Strait. Taiwan Strait or Formosa Strait connecting Taiwan with respect to China in the East China Sea. Or you can say that it connects East China Sea with the South China Sea. Now why? This is also a geopolitical concern. There is a talk about when will the question of when will China will attack Taiwan. There is a talk, right? It is an in entering, uh, there is a possibility of that. So this Formosa Strait connecting South China Sea with the East China Sea or the Strait of Taiwan, you have to remember. Tomorrow, what if they ask you? It can South China Sea with Yellow Sea or what? They might ask you. Similarly, this is the Korean Strait. Sea of Japan with respect to East China Sea is the Korean Strait. These are very, very important. You have to understand the trade. You have to understand the geopolitical connectivity here. It is all about geopolitical. Why? Who controls it? Because this is a region where trade is happening. Automatically political tie-ups. The shift has moved towards Asia Pacific. The trade, the control and all. This becomes important. That's the reason, no? Indians, uh, if you talk about the geopolitical, maybe I should not use the word Asia Pacific. I will also use the word India Pacific. Indo-Pacific, right? Indo-Pacific. Right. Yes, Shubham? Shubham? Right. You have so many other minor states. If I keep on remember about all the minor states, you know, it would be a big uh, topic. I'm just talking about, I'm taking about the important ones which are from the present current affairs. Dumping of all the straits, it's a never-ending chapter. There are so many minor straits as well. Right. Then still, some more point. Have you heard about this Strait of Dover? Dover Strait, which is connecting with the English Channel. Now, English Channel is also like a strait itself. And Strait of Dover connecting the North Sea with the English Channel or with the Atlantic Ocean. So, Strait of Dover and this is England and this is France. You also have an underground sea tunnel between the Calas and the Dover region underneath it. The distance is just around 30 kilometers, 30. So, they have developed a and the depth is not that high. You don't find bigger depth. So, there is an underground sea tunnel where there is a trade happening between Europe and UK. Europe and UK. In fact, you have a railway line. You have a roadway. You have a railway line. You also have a roadway line. Yes. People will go. If you wanted to go by car, say from France, Paris to London, you can go. Yes. You will come all the way here. Then your car will be taken into a tunnel. And along the railway tunnel, that car would be taken by a railway track crossing this region and entering into the London. So that is the importance. Dover Strait is another important thing. Yes. Moving forward. I think what more we have. Yes. This is the another one. Otranto Strait. Otranto Strait between Italy and Greece. You see, this is the Italy. This is the Greece here. This is the Otranto Strait. Otranto Strait connecting with the Italy and Greece. 
so this is also another important uh, strait or tranto right or tranto strait okay okay maybe when i talk about geopolitical importance it will not have that much linkage you know with uh, something with the you you can see it may not have that much linkage with uh, say like uh, bosphorus strait and all but this is also another important thing now you can see here this is the ionian sea this is what this is ionian this is what they can say adriatic sea so otranto adriatic sea with ionian sea adriatic sea with ionian sea this is adriatic this is ionian right okay then then one more point i think uh, come back to our point uh, india uh, all the way let us also discuss about india as well i think you all know recent uh, the kachatiwu island is here the kachatiwu island this is the park strait park strait india and sri lanka or you can say gulf of mannar with bay of bengal gulf of mannar with bay of bengal this is also one important thing they can ask okay You're right so moving further what more what more right these are the most important straits still you have some more i think uh, i uh, this is the and this is the point this is the panama isthmus how straits are different from isthmus this is the panama isthmus right a narrow water body then can you name any other in isthmus this is also an isthmus where you have connected the connected the land right this is the suez isthmus okay so you can see the suez isthmus extending from the northern terminus of port said to the southern terminus of port tefik at the city of suez so this is port said this is port suez along this you have connected a tunnel you have constructed a canal that is the suez canal so many people have i mean mean it has taken so much amount of time 1869 we started this tunnel right 1869 right then what more that's it i think these are the important straits still so many thousands of straits we can discuss but uh, i would not be pushing you further but this is what you can be sufficient this is what it is sufficient i think uh, you have also understood the importance geopolitical military economic uh, connectivity of trade see with this you will also get an economic opportunity now you are part of the international trade so when you are part of the international trade you will have exposure to international markets automatically economic transfer of communication information exchange all these things will provide the opportunity of trade for example if imagine there is a port in the malacca strait automatically ships will be stranding there as ships will be stranded there it provides the opportunity for you to become an export hub so in that way these choke points the narrow choke points are very important for our economic things as well because the entire trade happening through this the trade and connectivity is important and to have it a control of this the geopolitical things also will come into the picture so remember from these things the military the strategic significance all are one the economic one side the trade and the benefits out of shaving shipping cost trade transport cost saving of fuel economic efficiency on one side so divide your economic strategic military strategy and military don't club then the points would be reducing tell it about the strategic crucial significance and then you talk about the control say like djibouti four big nations are having their military bases in djibouti why very needed to the babel mandap strait right all of you so if you want this uh, if you want this pdf file you can get it in my telegram channel i think uh, many of you paras shubham sachin i think i have seen you n number of times now in my classes occasionally let us have a one meet let us have a google meet uh tomorrow tomorrow shall we have a google meet let us try to have a google meet 
we can have a discussion maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow definitely within this week it's been enough time i will share my link in the telegram channel we will have a meet right then all of you so we have understood about uh, straits today we'll come with another interesting topic tomorrow until then have a good time happy learnings and happy ram navmi thank you all of you good night so maybe not now but definitely yes thank you